Cystic fibrosis is a genetic disease that you're born with and it affects your lungs and your digestive system. Every form of it is kind of different for everybody. The logistics are the same. Uh, sticky mucus forms in your lungs and it contracts your airways from breathing. So I take a lot of medication to make sure that I thin out my mucus to help me breathe better. I was diagnosed when I was two, so I was a baby. But you're born with it, so the first two years of my life they didn't know what was wrong with me. On my second birthday, my mom found out that I had cystic fibrosis and she immediately started talking to people, other parents, got involved and tried to figure out how the best way to handle this for the rest of my life. It is my life. For so long I didn't think it was. I lived a normal life. I played sports, I went to school, um, I had tons of friends, and I lived life like I didn't have cystic fibrosis. Um, it wasn't until I was older when it really became real that I do have this. But I think the reason I lived such a healthy life is because I lived life like it was. I didn't focus on the fact of being different or anything like that. I think that I lived life differently than every other people. It's led my life in a positive way though. I think the reason I do what I do, if it's business or cheer for the high school or if it's my daughter or my husband, I do what I do because I know that I'm a little different and I have different things to worry about. 16 was a kind of crucial point in my life because I think it was the time when you were told you weren't going to make it past that. And I fell in love with my husband at 16. I also learned that don't wait for somebody to give you the green light because you'll wait forever. Depending on who you talk to, a lot of people say they couldn't play sports, they you know couldn't work because of a lot of treatments during the day and that was never an option for me, ever. So I played basketball, softball, cheered, I was on three teams at a time and the minute I came out of high school that's when I started my business and there was like no stopping me. You were not telling me I'm not doing something, it's just not an option. It wasn't an option in my house, it wasn't an option for me ever. And I try to really teach the kids that, that's kind of why I do this. You know, it doesn't matter what people say, nobody has like a stopwatch on you. Don't let anybody here tell you you can't do something. It's really exciting because they're so close to a cure. Um, this past year I just got involved with doing a walk for CF. I never really got involved with anything like that because um, I was so busy kind of doing my own thing and then seeing where cystic fibrosis is going and they're so close to getting a cure that I felt like, again, I have to do something. So we did a walkathon and I raised, I think it was like almost $5,000 my first year, which was huge for us. I'll never forget my doctor when I was little said, by the time you're an adult, we'll have a cure. And I believe it, I totally believe it. Don't be quiet about it and don't be shy about it. A lot of kids with CF um, are like embarrassed because you have to take so much medication when you eat, um, breathing treatments that really aren't very glamorous. I mean, you're breathing in stuff to get mucus out of your lungs. Um, sometimes you have sick days, you have bad days, but pretty much like do what you have to do. Do not miss your treatments. And again, don't let anybody tell you you can't do something. It's kind of changed a little bit. I had Emily two years ago. She'll be two in January. Um, so her, I would say her. Because you know, I wanna uh, I wanna be a good mom like my mom was, so and that takes a lot of work for me, for me to be here, so that's my job. It kind of shifted from just me and my husband to me, my husband and Emily. But they're really my responsibility now. So if I take care of myself, I take care of them. That's kinda how it works.